In this video, I'm going to give you the truth about certification, the actual facts, and what's just hype. Let's get into it. Believe it or not, every certification isn't worth, you know, your time or your money. Uh, some, you know, open doors, but a lot of them just collect dust, and it's just like a, a nice to have or something for, you know, you to make yourself proud, your mama to be proud of you, but it doesn't really, you know, move the needle and actually get you to where you want to get to, right? So today I'm going to give you just just a list and an overview of what I'm seeing right now, what matters or what doesn't, and kind of how to just avoid the the certification of purgatory, right? Meaning that either you stuck in limbo, don't know what the hell to do, or even worse, you think you know what to do, right? You think you understand what's going on. You're getting a bunch of certifications just to get them, right? So by the end of this video, you will have a clear path of what certifications matter, what don't matter, and kind of how to go about getting them, right? So here's reality, right? Certifications are tools, right? Certifications are not trophies. Let me tell you one more time. Certifications are not trophies. They're tools, right? They're a tool to, to get you more experience, to get you more skills, to get you more job opportunities, but they themselves are not an actual, they're an accomplishment, right? But that's not the goal. The goal is all of the things that the certification can afford you, right? Not just getting it just uh, to get it. The only thing that really matters to an employer is whether you can actually do the stuff that's in the cert, right? So it's cool you got the certification, could it mean that you can study a little bit, you can focus a little bit, but can you actually do the things that are in the certification, right? That's that's the biggest thing. Now, I want you to write a few things down for me, right? E9, 99% of hiring managers consider certifications a reliable signal of competence. Believe it or not, competence, critical thinking, common sense, a lot of those things are not apparent or not common. That's a good thing for you. Most of the people that um, are going after certifications, most of the people that are applying for jobs are not competent. Uh, dumbasses, pretty much, right? So according to CompTIA, which of course is a little biased because that's a certification organization, that, that's according to, to them, that 95% of hiring managers consider that. Realistically, it's probably around 80%. But having some type of certification is a signal that, okay, this person can sit down, they can learn, and they should be somewhat competent in these fields, right? Another thing is when it comes to like uh, entry-level roles, whether it's help desk, whether it's uh, junior administrator stuff, you know, roles that somebody that uh, hasn't been in the field that long or is just starting out would have. Certifications are in about 70% of job postings for entry-level stuff, right? And it's over uh, 60% for just job postings in tech in general, right? But for entry-level stuff in general, according to uh, Lightcast Labor Insights, at least 70% of uh, job postings are going to want you to have a certification, right? So as far as... Uh, the certifications, right? Now, it's a couple things that they do for you. One, they show that, like I said, they show you where your knowledge gaps are, where your skills gaps are, and it also can close that gap when it comes to income, right? So according to Global Knowledge IT Skills, it says that people that are certified earn almost 20 more, 20% 20 more than people who are not certified. That's a lot of money, man. That's a lot of of money, right? So just imagine you study for a couple of weeks, spend a little bread, get certified, and you can get a 20% bump and, you know, whatever you make it. Now, um, depending on what you're doing, uh, I've had students that not just a 20%, you know, they went from, you know, 50, sometimes 30, 30 to 40, um, thousand dollars a year, all the way up to 60, you know, 70, that's doubling, quadrupling your salary. These certifications definitely are, you know, worth the time, the effort, and just the energy that you have to put in. But a caveat, this is not a shortcut. This is not a magic pill. These certifications are hard as hell. One. Two, you probably are going to fail them. Three, they're not free, right? But they are definitely worth it, right? But just understand, don't go in like, oh, shit, all I got to do is take a cert. It's a lot that goes in that. Um, and it's a lot of stuff that you have to do after that to actually, you know, get those those jobs and those opportunities. So what are some, some certifications, right? What are some certifications that 
uh, can help you, you know, double your income, learn these skills, and get some entry-level opportunities. Before we get into that, I want to introduce myself. I'm Rob from ITMasterKey.com, and I help people uh, just like you pass uh, certifications. I'm a former U.S. Army Staff Sergeant, and I've been helping people get into tech for for almost a decade. So uh, if you want uh, any training, any help, you can go head over to ITMasterKey.com. And if anything over there you like, uh, you can rock out. If not, uh, you feel free to go ahead and keep on rocking out with uh, this free YouTube stuff, right? Now, as far as the certifications that employers look for, right, it's a small list, but it's also a long list. And it also determines what or depends on what you want to do, right? That's another thing I think a lot of people kind of forget about. Like, what do you ultimately want to do? What do you want your life to look like? What are you interested in, right? Because I think a lot of times people have done shit that they're not interested in for so long. You know, so many people that have jobs, they don't give a hit. They don't, they don't care about it. They hate it. And they just think, oh, well, that's just how life is. And it doesn't have to be that way. But at the end of the day, you got to make some money. You got to feed your family. But just, you know, kind of keep that in the back of your mind. So uh, a great certification to start off with, I've been saying it for years and it still hasn't changed, is uh, A+. Plus, right. So that's a great certification to start off with if your main goal is to kick down the door, to get into the um, field and to actually start, um, you know, getting jobs and doing stuff like that. Right. Now, if you are a little bit more seasoned, you already have some certifications, you can move on to, you know, more advanced certifications, uh, whether it's CompTIA Network Plus, CompTIA Security Plus, uh, Cisco CCNA and stuff like that, or Azure certifications or AWS. So Azure is a Microsoft certification and AWS is Amazon, right? So uh, Azure is more of a specialized uh, certification dealing with mostly uh Cloud stuff, AWS, are the exact same thing, right? So those are just a few certifications. Now, you can look into uh, the certifications that I mentioned. Uh, ma matter of fact, out of the certifications that I mentioned, let me know in the comments which certification uh, would you start with or which certification are you working on and what's the deadline on when you're actually taking certifications. Oh, are you in school? Do you have a degree? Is the degree working better for you? Is the certification working better for you? Uh, you already know how I feel, but I kind of want to see um, how you guys feel as far as that goes. All right, so those are just a few of the certifications. But just understand, right, the goal is not the to get the a certification. It's not to, to get certified. The goal is to actually be able to leverage your certification and actually get the skills that are in that certification, right? If you are one of these people who is getting three, four, five, six, ten, certifications, but you actually don't have the skills and you don't have a job, you never worked in tech, it just looks weird, right? So, for example, I have a lot of students that um, they rock out with me, they get A+, plus, they get Net+, plus, and they get Security+, plus, and they ask me, what's the next certification? If for some strange reason they haven't landed a job yet, I say, ain't no certification. Ain't no more certifications. You have to get a job first, and then you get more certifications, right? You got to actually start putting um, a real job uh, that you get experience from on your resume. Because I'm telling you, um, hiring managers, people in tech in general, it looks crazy if you got four, five, six certs and a degree, but you never worked in tech. It's just like you just, you know, a paper warrior. Like, okay, this, this, this guy or this girl just get certifications. They don't really give a damn about getting a job, I guess, right? So make sure if you got three uh, certs, that's kind of like the cap, man. Now, unless you got three bullshit certs, but you got three certs, uh, some of the certs I mentioned or some of the certs that pop up in uh, the job listings that you're seeing, you need to stop. And your main goal needs to be uh, to, to get a job, man, to get a job. Now, it's a it's a couple things that kind of hinder people from uh, getting certifications. Right. Or just doing what they need to do. The number one myth that wastes time is what I just said, thinking that you only need uh, either one certification, right, or thinking that you need 100 certifications. Now, the first thing I said can be true. Uh, I got students that have gotten uh, jobs and job opportunities with one certification, right, and that is a better way to go. And that's what I encourage. After you get your first certification, I always lean towards get your first job. Get your first job and then keep on working on your certifications because you're getting experience, you're learning stuff, you're doing hands-on stuff at your job, and then you're getting um, uh, new certifications. And unlike other fields and stuff like that, 
Once you get certified, it's time to get some more money, right? If your current job, uh, for some reason, can't give you that money, shit, go somewhere else. It's that simple, right? So the main thing, though, that I want you to do is don't be like a cert junkie, right? Like I said, if you if you haven't gotten a job and you got shit three or four certs, you need to get a job and then get back into uh, the certification hunt later on. One of the biggest things I want to tell you, though, certifications, they they help you, right? Learn the skills. They definitely help you stand out when it comes to hiring. They definitely help you when it comes to actually landing a job. But certifications do not guarantee that you get the job, right? They're going to get you to, they're going to get you to interview, right? Not necessarily to offer. That's why I told you it's kind of a, a complex system or ses, uh, a set of steps that you have to follow to really get into the um, to get the job. It's just not easy. Getting certified ain't easy. Getting the job ain't easy. That's why a lot of these people that, uh, yeah, man, I got A+, plus, I, mean, I got Network+, plus, yeah, I got Security+, plus, or I got all these certifications and I can't find a job. It is you. I'm, I'm, I hate to tell you. Something is you you messing up somewhere. You you fumbling in the, in the interview. Your resume it ain't right. Your your social media is either weird or non-existent. So you just got to make sure that you hone hone in on on that stuff, right? Even if you got certifications, you still got to have problem solving skills. You still got to know how to communicate, and you still got to know how to you know sell yourself. Not literally, no OnlyFans or no shit like that. Meaning that you have to convey the information. This is what I can do for you. This is what I've done. This is what um, this is how I can help the company. X Y. And Z. Another thing is this. Just because, you know, a cert certification is deemed harder, just because a certification uh, is deemed uh, whatever, right? Doesn't mean it's necessarily better, right? So, <clears throat> for example, a, a high up uh, cybersecurity certification is something called CISSP, right? You got to have all a bunch of prerequisites and all this other stuff before you even get to take the exam. But let's just say somehow you squeeze through the cracks and you take the certification. If you have CISSP, but you've never worked in security, it's going to look crazy. It's going to start, it's going to look crazy, right? So you need to make sure that your certifications align with your current skill set, right? It just, it just looks completely crazy. Um, chasing just random certifications, right? Going after certifications that are either too difficult for you or are too easy and don't have any weight in uh, the real world, it's just a waste of time, right? So make sure you do your due diligence, make sure you do your research, um, even the things I'm saying, research them, make sure that it aligns with, um, you know, what you're doing and what your ultimate goals are, right? Now, this has worked for me, it's worked for my students, but you may have a different plan, right? This is just an option, right? It's a bunch of different ways uh, to do things, uh, a bunch of different wrong ass ways to do things too. So just make sure that you have a plan, right? And a plan that, that works uh, for you, right? Just because without a plan, right? It's basically like, okay, you know what? I'm going to go get a goddamn gi, right? I'm going to get a black belt. I'm going to get some ninja uh, stars and shit. I'm going to become, you know, a, a karate expert just because I got the shit. Just because I got a gi, that's a little white thing that they wear. And I got a black belt and I shit watch uh american ninja warrior i'm going i'm shit i'm gonna be a karate expert and be a black belt it, it just don't work like that right just because you get the cert doesn't mean that uh, you actually get the skills that's one of the biggest things all right actually i'll uh, write that down and somebody put that in the comments don't just get the search get the skills right don't just get the search but get the skills right though no, i just don't want you to have some fancy shit and some fancy letters on your resume but you can't actually do the job so there's a little bit of um, a difference, right? Or a little bit of a um, approach, right? Uh, duration, difficulty when it comes to entry level certs as opposed to specialized certs, right? So usually, uh, most of the, most of the uh, certifications that I mentioned on today, it probably would take you 30 days. If you have a structured plan, if you know exactly what to study, if you're motivated, you can have it. You can get certified in 30 days, man, easily. 30 days you can get certified, right? And most of the entry level certs, it's a little bit more broad, right? So whether it's A plus, Net plus, Security plus, they have a focus on a certain area, but it's kind of a wide net, right? It's not just we're just talking about this. We're talking about offensive security, or we're talking about defensive security, or we're talking right. So 
the specialized certifications most likely um, are not going to be for entry level roles, right? Because it's kind of going to be expected that you already have a super strong uh, foundation and probably some um, experience as well. And it's targeted for more higher paying, like niche roles. And that's one of the things that I always harp on to uh, all of my students is just that whatever the fuck you get, right? Whatever certification is that know it sounds crazy, but whoever hires you, they're going to expect you to know how to do all that shit that's in that certification. If you do not know how to do all that stuff and you're just a good test taker, you just uh, remember some stuff, you regurgitate some stuff, it's not going to go well for you because it's going to be time to go in the game, right? So let's say somehow you, you was playing basketball, right? And somehow, uh, you look good on film, right? You look real good on film when ain't nobody guarding you. You're doing 360 dunks. You're down, uh, you're quick, agile, you're fast. And then when it times to be in a real game, you're terrible. You're fumbling, bumbling, can't make a layup, can't make a shot, 100 turnovers, zero points, right? You just want to make sure that you can actually do the job. That's one of the biggest things that I would love to tell people is that it's cool to get the certifications, but can you do the fucking job, man? That's the biggest thing, right? Uh, and, but the good thing, another good thing that I forgot to mention is that just the amount of opportunities, right? There's a lot of opportunities to get into tech, but the opportunities sometimes double and triple when you have uh, certifications. Now, as far as figuring out how to do this stuff, right? As far as what certification you get, blah, 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 right? We already talked about that. One thing is just pick a path. It doesn't have to be definite. This doesn't have to be uh, permanent, whether you want to go cloud, whether you want to go AI, whether you want to do automation, whether you want to do security, whether you want to do administration. Just pick a path and start. That's the that's number one. That's the first thing uh, to do. Then pick a certification that aligns with that path, right? Now, the certification that you pick, you may not have to you may not be able to start there, right? You may have to reverse engineer that. Okay, if my end goal is this certification, what certification should I get before that to make sure that um, I have a high success rate when it comes to uh, taking a certification. Another thing is figure out how to get some type of uh, hands-on experience, whether it's through uh, simulations, whether it's through you setting up a home lab, whether it's through volunteering, doing free work, interning. You need to get um, some some experience, uh, get in the mix, and, and get in the game. So once you do all of those things, right, make sure that you start specializing, right? Start honing in because you want to go broad at first. And then as you figure out what you like, what you're good at, what comes naturally, then you want to start uh, going a little bit more specialized. This is what I know, man. The right certification at the right time can really change your career um, and change uh, your life. So if you're looking to, to get uh, certifications, A+, plus, Net+, plus, Security+, plus, you can head over to itmasterkey.com. You don't need a degree. You just need master IT and all soldiers, all active soldiers train for absolutely free uh, with us. Other than that, I'll see you in class.